What's happening YouTube? Pipe Scratch here. Um, today I'm doing the TPC YouTube Pipe Presenter Spotlight, um, which a couple of the other guys have done uh, before me, so I am, I guess, next in line. Um, Alright, so I got a bunch of questions that Mike um, sent me. I got 12 questions. Um, so I'll start off with the first one. It says, uh, where do you live and can you tell us a little bit about it? Um, I live in a place called Van Lusa, and it's in Copenhagen, Denmark, um, Scandinavia, in the northern part of uh, Europe, uh, right above Germany, and to the left of Sweden. Um, number two, what brought you to Denmark? Um, I had met my ex-wife uh, 16 years ago. Um, when I was traveling around uh, the Middle East, um, and yeah, I went back to New York um, after about a half a year, um, and then I came over here to Denmark to surprise her for her birthday, uh, which was uh, which is August fifth, and that was in 1996. So yeah, 16 years now. All right, question number three. <clears throat> How long have you been smoking pipes? I think it's coming on six six years now. Um, five, five and a half. Um, I've been smoking a cigar for about 20 years, and I started smoking a pipe the first time uh, for about a couple of months, about 30 years ago. Um, it wasn't the best experience. I think I started out with some Captain Black and a uh, basket pipe. Uh, I really wasn't into it, so I stayed uh, with the cigars. Um, yeah. What? Question number four. What or who got you interested in them? Um, you know, growing up, my uh, my great grandfather used to smoke a cigar, um, and that's what got me into smoking cigars. Um, so when I first started uh, to try to smoke the pipe uh, 30 years ago, um, I guess it was because I was smoking cigars and some cigarettes, so I decided to try a pipe. But I got back into it about five and a half, six years ago. Um, I, you know, I, I think I was walking on the street one day and I smelt uh, the tobacco from a pipe smoker, because there are a lot of pipe smokers um, here in, in Denmark. So I, I went down to the Danish pipe shop. Um, at an interest just to check out some pipes and tobacco and um, that got me going into it uh, hardcore um, by visiting the shop here and, and the guys in here smoking pipes and the smell of the tobacco and all the different types of tobacco that you can that you can get um, aromatic Virginia English uh, with Perique um, that's 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 kind of what, what got me into it um, how long have you been doing YouTube videos? I guess uh, I've been watching the videos yeah, for about three, uh, four years, I guess. And I've been doing them for, I think, coming on three years now. Number six, <coughs> the dreaded question. Name a few pipe presenters you follow religiously. Um, yeah. You know, I, I I try and you know I skip around. I watch all the different different people that I'm subscribed to. Um, I like looking for new guys as well. Um, if I was to pick a couple out of the uh, out of a hat, I guess that that I started watching from from the beginning, even before I was making videos. Uh, I guess that was a guy, uh, Pipester Jim, who unfortunately is no longer making videos. Um, he was one uh, pipe lawyer. Um, Dub in the Dam, uh, Piper and CHS, Northwest Pipe Smoker. Uh, those are some of the guys that I first started watching when I, when I was getting into it. Um, you know, I can name tons of them. Uh, you know, OMS, One Man Smoke, um, the Dagners. Uh, yeah, who else? James uh, from Thailand. Uh, oh, his YouTube channel skipped my name, skipped my mind. Was it 2112? Uh, man, there's just so many. So I don't, I don't want to just go on and just name, you know, the 300, 400, 500. 
guys that I'm watching. But I, I watch everybody that I'm subscribed to. I'm, I'm, I'm always checking the, the videos out when I have the time. Um, number seven, how is it to have the best job in the world at the greatest pipe shop in the world? Um, yeah, I love my job. I have great colleagues. Um, it's in a great location. Um, the history uh, with pipes here in, in, in Denmark uh, goes way back with some of the best pipe makers in the world. Um, I, I love it. I love my job. It's, it's not too often you get to work uh, at a place that is actually your dream job. So I feel very uh, fortunate to, to be working here. Um, are you number eight? Are you full time at the shop? Yes, I am full time at the shop. This is my full time job. Um, question number nine: How often do you get starstruck at the visitors you meet? Pipe makers. Um, in the beginning, yeah, I was definitely starstruck, and, I, and every pipe maker that came into the shop, I was taking a picture uh, with 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 each of them. Um, you know, they come in on a regular basis. We have Eric Norton that comes in regularly, uh, Paul Winslow, uh, Nirup, um, Tom Eltang, Manduela. Um, let me see. Uh, Ilstel has been in here. Um, I've met him. I talk with him on the phone quite often. Also Tao. Um, yeah, that's those are those are the guys that come in quite often, and it's fantastic to to be able to hang out with these guys. Uh, Soren Refbjerg, of course, um, who I've become very good friends with, also with uh, with uh, Paul Winslow. So it's it's an amazing thing being able to meet these amazing uh, craftsmen, the artists, as you, as you can say. Um, question number ten: Who are a few? Wait, who are a few you have been blessed to meet? Okay, well, I guess that can go back to question number nine. All those guys I just said, I've met all of them. Um, I've had the chance also to actually work uh, for a day in the shop with uh, with Tom Elting, which was fantastic. Um, a lot of the, a lot of the times the guys come in in the morning to drop off their pipes. We sit down here in the in the uh, in the coffee break room and have a cup of coffee. Um, get something from the amazing Danish uh, bakeries, some pastries, and uh, you know, talk about pipes. So it's, I'm quite fortunate with that. Um, okay, question number eleven: Can you show us a few of your favorite pipes? Um, yeah, I got about 65 pipes in my collection now, and I'm at work, so I just brought a couple of pipes uh, that I have. Uh, I, I wasn't going to bring all 65 of them, and I decided to do the video here uh, at work. Um, so these are just a couple of them that I brought in my my travel pipe case. Um, you've guys seen before, you've seen this, my, my Tao uh, billiard with silver band, um, amazing, amazing grain and bird's eye on this with a Cumberland stem. Love that pipe. Um, I brought a, I uh, love my Moretti, a little stubby Moretti with some of the best rustication uh, out there. Love this pipe. Um, one of my... One of my Dunhills I brought as well. Let me see if I can get it out of the out of my bag. It's a uh, a spigot um, sandblast group number four. Silver around the shank and silver around the stem. Love this pipe. Um, let me see what else. And last but not least, of course, my Geo. Geo pipes by Giovanni, uh, bent, slightly canted uh, Dublin, rusticated, um, with some wood bands with a little aluminum band, smooth on the top, brown, love it. Uh, what else? Let me see. Question number twelve. You have been instrumental in getting several indie pipe makers into the shop. Can you tell us about them? Um, well, you know I. I you know, I just, it, it goes hand in hand with with the guys that that I that I work with, my colleagues, and Nikolai, of course. Um, I always discuss it with him uh, before we make a decision. Um, definitely. So there's uh, been Mark Balkovic and uh, Giovanni uh, Pipes, John. Um, I've gotten into the shop, and uh, Soren Refbjerg. Uh, I brought into the shop, who uh, is not an indie pipe maker. He's been making pipes for you know close to 40 years. Um, so yeah, those those three guys, uh, you know, I, 
I definitely had a, a major hand in helping them come into the Danish pipe shop. Um, and I, you know, I like to consider myself a uh, pipe maker scout. You know, I'm always looking for for guys to, uh, new guys especially to bring into the to to the pipe uh, shop and help get them started. Um, so, uh, yeah, that's about that. Um, and yeah, I, I also want to thank Mike uh, from uh, TPC for. Uh, Given uh, the pipe uh, makers and pipe uh, presenters opportunities for making these videos for the spotlight on his uh, YouTube channel and on his web page, if you guys have not um, subscribed to to Mike or even checked out his uh, um, web page, check out um, TPC Pipe Collector um, and and subscribe to him. He's a great guy, and he's uh, definitely one of our biggest supporters in the shop, and we try uh, the best we can to help uh, support him and uh, all the other uh, uh, pipe uh, presenters and pipe makers uh, out in the community now. So, yeah, that's about it. Um, catch you guys on the rebound. Take care. Cheers.